Ah, son of a... Hey guys, this is Ben with Company Grip and I've got something pretty cool today. It's the Freeway 10-way selector switch for Fender style guitars. I did find this on Amazon.com. I'll put a link to it below. As usual, if you make a purchase from that link, I will get a small commission, which I will use to help fund this channel and other fun things. I'm going to be putting this selector switch inside this here guitar. This is my Jet JS300. I also got this on Amazon and we'll put a link for this down below as well. It's a great guitar. Replace the pickups and you've got a pretty good Fender contender for less than $500. Pretty incredible. I had a brief stint soldering circuit boards when I was younger and I'm pretty sure the quality of my work is why I don't do that today. So this will be an adventure to say the least. Got all your little tabs there. All you gotta do is connect some wires and get the solder on it, right? All right, let's get started. So I am gonna take this guitar into the other room and I will record the tones um, as it sits. In theory, positions one through five should sound the same when I'm done soldering this as positions one through five in the new diagram. If it does sound different, I don't know if that's something I did or if that's now because it's going through an electronic circuit. I have no idea. All right, here we go. Let's start by taking all these strings off. No problem there. I've always wondered why pick guards on every single guitar have like 500 screws. What are they worried is gonna happen with this pick guard? Next got four bolts. That's it. Let's see. Trying to desolder the wires and pull them out and keep it nice and clean, but I just don't have the skills for that. So I'm just gonna have to snip everything. And if it comes down to it, I'm going to use some of the extra wire I bought to compensate where needed. Yeah, just gonna snip all that. One thing that I do want to check here is when this selector is in the pick guard, there will be enough room to click it left and right. I'm going to screw the new selector into the pick guard and see how it sits in there, make sure I can slide through all five different selections, plus do the switch and make sure I've got those five as well. This new switch is made for Stratocasters, so it should have the same hole spacing. And yep, one through five. I'm sure this is how the professionals do it when they can't find electrical tape. They just find some plumber's tape laying around and safety the wires together like that. Sure, that's what they do. Sometimes when you're soldering, you aren't really paying attention. You get a little too close for comfort. And you get a little bold and, oh, I can do this and that. And uh, burn yourself. You just get a little, whoop, flash burning. Let's see that again. Arguably, I did not do a good enough cleanup job, but uh, I have to go back in there and fix something, which you're about to find out right now. All right, guys, after tinkering with this guitar all day yesterday, I finally got it all soldered up. Everything does work as planned. There was one little hiccup yesterday right here. Everything seems good and soldered in there. The only thing I don't have is a capacitor that goes from this ground pin to the the bridge tone. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Yeah, so that capacitor basically means that this tone knob for the bridge pickup is completely not functional. But other than that, uh, positions one through five sound great, as you'll hear here. Sounds pretty close to what it was. I'm going to play around with it just a little bit, just so you can hear it. And then I'll do the side by side. So let's show you some things. The first position, the normal position one on the strap. So let's show you the new position six, which is all three of these pickups in series. Check 
chunky, chunky, chunky. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you the original one through five sounds, as well as I will play the same little ditties on positions six, seven, eight, nine, and ten with clean crunch and a little uh, dirt, just so you can hear an example of what that sounds like. Thank you. 
right guys, there you have it. So I wasn't even sure this thing was gonna work when I was done putting it together, but I am impressed. Position number six was the one I was looking forward to the most. That's all three pickups in series, and it was chunky, chunky, chunky. Almost unusable, super clipping, but I think going through some overdrive, you could find something in there that works really good with that sound. Position seven was really good too. That was all three pickups in parallel, and I thought it had a real nice sound on the clean setting. Position eight was one of my favorites. I think that run through the overdrive had such a good bite. I played it along with some other songs and it just cut right through the mix. It was pretty awesome. And then my last favorite one was position 10, which was the neck and the bridge in series. I thought that had a really good warmth to it, but still had a nice twang from the middle pickup and it had a pretty unique sound, I thought. That's not too bad of a project for you guys to take on. If you've got 40, 50 bucks to buy that little 10-way pickup selector from Freeway, you can buy a soldering iron and some flux for 20 bucks. If you just devote an afternoon to it, I mean, I did it. I think you guys could do it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, make sure you subscribe and click the like buttons if you liked it. And uh, all right, guys, thanks again for watching. Next time.